14 stages down, three to go. Thierry Nerville's incredible comeback drive in Monte Carlo saw the Belgians start the day as rally leader. Here, Martin Weidegger continued their push in Sunday's first test, winning stage 15 to extend their lead to eight seconds over Seb Ogier, with Elvin Evans close behind. Elvin flew through the penultimate Chaudon Noranti stage to close the gap before a late charge from Nerville saw him take yet another stage win, earning a 13 and a half second lead over Ogier going in to the final test. I didn't know really well in some of the cuts how fast I could go, but I felt like that the speed was not too bad. Oitak started the final day in limbo land, fourth overall, but with a large gap ahead to Evans in third and back to Adrian Formo in fifth. The Estonian opted to save his tyres for the Wolf Power Stage, hoping to minimise championship points lost to the winner. Takamoto Katsuta's focus had switched as soon as he fell off the road on Friday. The Japanese driver conserved the machinery through to the end of Saturday's running, hoping for a big push on Sunday to recover vital championship points. And he and Aaron Johnson's mindset would change once more on Sunday morning. The Toyota duo just wanting to bring home the points without unnecessary drama. My plan is just to uh, get through and uh, finish the uh, weekend, so nothing special. Formos return to the top flight has been nothing short of impressive. Minimal time in his Rally 1 car prior to Monte Carlo left some pundits predicting an uphill struggle this season. But the Frenchman was quick yet again. Consolidating a top five finish is equal best result to date in WRC. At the top of WRC 2, Pepe Lopez started the final day just two tenths of a second behind Nikolai Grisey. The Spaniard began Sunday with a superb run through Anier en Devolut to take the lead back with two stages to go. But a huge push from Johan Roussel in the penultimate stage saw the Frenchman jump right back into the mix. A dominant stage win saw him enter the final stage just nine tenths of a second off the WRC 2 leader Lopez. A superb final stage saw Citroën's Roussel claim the rally victory, in doing so winning his second Monte event in a row. The Frenchman edged out Lopez and Griers in, in a WRC2 thriller, and he couldn't hold back the tears. It's crazy. Sorry for him, it's an incredible race. I come a little bit better, but I win, and uh, it's the most important. At the very top, Nerville continued his incredible form, claiming his 20th career victory winning the power stage and scoring maximum points. This man has been spectacular. There you go, 2.6 seconds quicker. I don't have the words, to be honest. Uh, it was just so great this weekend. I felt so comfortable in the car. The team was doing an amazing job, and uh, I think the whole package was working very well. A superb performance sees Nerville on top, with Ogier and Evans just behind. Tanek finished a lonely fourth, ahead of Formo, Mickelson and Katsuta. The WRC2 victor, Johan Roussel, was eighth overall, ahead of Pepe Lopez and Nikolai Grisey. So maximum points for Nerville in Monte Carlo and a warning shot to his competitors for the season ahead. Ogier is six points back, with Evans in third. Four, right, sharp, middle, into.